true. All women are great women. Get yourself one. Pandemic taught me ain't no wrong one. All women is the right one. Get yourself one. Get yourself a big girl if you got a choice. You need a big girl. I was in the pandemic. I tried. I saw. I conquered. I felt it. I know. If you want to go through a pandemic, get you a big woman. It'll be the easiest pandemic you ever believe. You can trust a big woman. You don't even know. You don't even know you hungry and she already cooking. Your stomach look at her first. I think she got it. Big woman is perfect in the pandemic. She do everything right. If it's cold, she'll heat up the whole room. Cracking her legs one time. If it's too hot, she won't even touch your skin to skin. She don't want it to stick. Fellas, you get with a big girl, you feel your body do some shit you ain't never felt your body do and your body ain't never been trained to do. All you need to do is get a big enough girl and you'll feel your body nestle. Look at niggas, what? If you ever roll over on a woman bigger than you, you just... It's the safest sleep you ever gonna have, and that's what I'm there. I'm trying to tell you now. Yes. All the women is exciting. I got me a short girl. I've never had a short girl before because I'm short. Fuck what I be doing with somebody short, but I was missing out. I didn't know they was that much fun. I fucked a short girl in the car. This bitch was in every chair in the car. And me and my dick never moved. She was just about that life. I like a giant girl. No disrespect to the tall girls. I don't mean 5'9", five, 5'12", five, none of that. I'm talking about six fold, six five, ugh. I'm talking about a giant woman. How big you want to get? Giant. I want her so big if she cooking breakfast in the kitchen in one of them summer dresses, I want to be able to slide up right between the vagina without breaking a stride. <laughs> Grab that clitoris like a red nose pin. <laughs> I like a woman so big you gotta fuck her in two rooms. That's when you got one of them WNBA girls. You fuck her in two rooms. I'm in the bedroom locked in for damage. Every 150 strokes, I go check on her in the living room. How's that working out for you, baby? Is that good back there? How am I doing? Oh, I'm killing it? Well, I'm gonna take it to the bridge then. I'm gonna take it to the bridge. Just saying, I like it. I like all the girls. I ain't got no favorites. But I'll say this, if some women don't get their flowers at all, it's a group of women around the whole world that nobody ever talks about. And they keep everything going. And they don't never get no credit. We're gonna talk about them and give them their credit tonight. Where's all the fellas in here with an ugly woman make some noise? <laughs> Some people saw their whole marriage go before they had. <laughs> Can I trust in you? <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, everybody in here with somebody ugly know better. They just staring at me like this.
No. You're supposed to want what you need. You're supposed to want what you need. When you was in the bathroom crying to the Lord, you said, send me the bitch I need. That is the bitch you need. Yeah. Yeah. Stop judging people by the outside only. Fuck you mean. The ugliest people be pretty. They still ugly. Every man in here with an ugly woman knows something the world don't know. She might be ugly to you. She ain't ugly to me. I ain't gonna tell you why. But sometimes you need an ugly woman. An ugly woman will save your motherfucking life. You can be famous being ugly. All of us know the story of Harriet Tubman. <laughs> they don't tell us but two things about Harriet. They tell us that she freed the slaves and she was ugly. Show me all your secrets What the fuck they say? She freed the slaves and she was up. It's a motherfucking lie. Harriet was motherfucking beautiful. Slavery was ugly, bitch. One more time for the people in the back. I say, Harriet was beautiful. Slavery was up. Uh huh, uh huh. And to free the slaves, Harriet needed to be ugly. Because the enemy was ugly. Harriet wasn't the only woman out there freeing slaves. There was another woman out there freeing slaves. Her name was Beulah. She was beautiful, looked like Tracy Ellis Ross. Light skin, hair down to her ass, bubble butt, smelled like fruit and berries. Everybody loved her. Thousands of slaves followed Beulah. But beautiful could get you uh, away from being a slave. You needed ugly, because your life was on the line, bitch. This real slavery. You in the real woods. It's really midnight. And if anybody see you, from an adult to a small child, your ass is dead, bitch. And you going through them woods. You hear them dogs coming from a distance. <laughs> And that's generally when niggas get scared, start running, and get killed. But you ain't had to be scared if you was with Harriet. Them dogs will come and Harriet will get down eye to eye with them dogs. Pull a pistol out of panties. You just hit it all. <laughs> A lot of people follow Beulah. She was beautiful. But that bitch didn't have the GPS of a box of rocks. 3,000 slaves followed that beautiful bitch and wound up on the same master's plantation at three in the afternoon. You 
Just got to thank God for small blessings. I like all vaginas. But it's something about a big clit. 